Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the Merlot Down. We went out on the lake yesterday, it was hot, it was sunny, so I'm not drinking wine today, obviously. I'm hydrating with Allie's famous icy lemon water. Icy lemon water. It really hydrates you. So if you've been following my channel, I recently got engaged to the love of my life, the handsomest man I've ever met in my whole entire life. And I've been starting to plan my own wedding and I've just been kind of sharing small updates. But a couple weeks ago, we actually did something pretty big. My mom, my grandma and I, we went dress shopping and I bought my dream wedding dress. So I'm gonna tell you all about my experience and the five things I learned while wedding dress shopping. But Allie, don't you talk about keto? Yeah, but this is like a really big part of my life and I'm kind of also a vlogger and I just wanna share it with you guys. I mean, it is keto adjacent. I would not have met the man if I had not lost weight on keto. I gained so much confidence through weight loss and I'm where I am now and I have the life that I have, the life that I love because of keto. So, you know, I guess I'm just kind of sharing like the benefits to life after weight loss. So if you're interested in weight loss or ketogenic weight loss specifically, be sure to check out my channel. But let's go ahead and get started talking about buying wedding dresses and the things that I learned. So listen, I am an avid pinner on Pinterest. I remember back in like the early 2010s, I think Pinterest was invite only. Like you had to click on a link to get into Pinterest. If I'm remembering correctly, that's how I joined. And like, I've just been planning my dream wedding ever since. <laughs> so I literally have thousands of wedding specific pins on different wedding boards. Oh man, I have wedding outfits, wedding photos, engagement photos, wedding decor and flowers and wedding dress and dream wedding and real dream wedding. <laughs> There's so much inspiration out there. And you know, throughout the years I've accumulated all of these thoughts and images when it came to my own dream wedding. But moral of the story is that I have been trying to plan my dream wedding forever. I know it's stereotypical, but it's just something that I want to achieve in my lifetime. So what I've actually noticed now that I'm engaged and I've been going back through my wedding pins and my wedding boards is that my wedding style has changed like so many times, like really a lot of times. I mean, and I've noticed that a lot of my, you know, changes in the styles were influenced by pop culture. So one of my greatest style icons is Kate Middleton. And so when she got married, she had, you know, the beautiful princess gown. We know what her gown looks like. I used to want an engagement ring like hers, like a blue sapphire, maybe with some stones around it. And I remember that her wedding florals were just mostly greenery with like some hints of white, maybe like some baby's breath. So for a while, that's what I thought I wanted. Then I got into Game of Thrones. <laughs> and this is also when the rustic, you know, farmhouse type wedding got really big. Um, especially on Pinterest. And so I just imagined having like this rustic, you know, rough edge type wedding. I even imagined like getting married on a mountain in the snow, like I was a Stark. So that's the first thing that I learned is that my wedding style has definitely changed throughout the years with different trends in pop culture. And maybe you also have outside influences that are affecting your dream vision for your dream wedding. But even though I had all of this information, you know, swimming around me in the world of Pinterest and dream weddings, what really kind of helped me solidify my vision for the dress that I wanted was knowing what my venue looked like and what the time of year was going to be. Knowing those two things really helped me figure out the style of wedding I was looking for. So I'll tell you the style that we're hoping for. Our venue is in our downtown area. It's this older building, it's brick on the inside. It's got these big windows that let the light into the room. Um, there are these old wooden columns throughout the space. It's kind of eclectic. It's actually like a wine and paint um, business and then they rent out the venue for weddings and parties. So it has lots of light. It's very colorful and we're gonna have a spring wedding. And so I noticed that when I bought florals for my goddess party, the florals were all of these bright, punchy, you know, super saturated colors and they were very beautiful. And so I, I was imagining my venue with, you know, centerpieces with these bright punchy florals and that just kind of helped me see the space and see the type of wedding that we would have. 
So I would call our wedding style a little boho eclectic, but with like a really fresh springy vibe. So knowing your venue and knowing the time of year that your wedding will be will kind of help you as you go dress shopping because you'll be able to envision your dress with this venue and how it all kind of flows together. The third thing that I learned when I actually went dress shopping is that I really had no idea what I wanted until I started trying on dresses. Back to Pinterest. So, you know, I had some like core inspiration photos for dresses that I thought I wanted. You know, I didn't know if I wanted a ball gown or a mermaid or something, you know, like a sheath. But I knew that if I got one of those, what kind of style I thought I wanted. So if I was going for ball gown, I wanted something more sleek, maybe fabric with a sheen. I didn't think I wanted a whole lot of tool. You know, I didn't want to look like a very young bride. I wanted to look like a sophisticated and alluring bride or something that was very form-fitting but also regal maybe something with lots of beading or even epaulettes maybe a lower cut neckline and then you know i pinned a lot of those minimalist gowns um the ones where you see the brides in the forest or the meadow and they just have like plain white like a crepe type material or maybe even a silky material but there's not many embellishments they're usually v-necks you know i had all of this inspiration kind of swimming around in my head when i went dress shopping so when i got to the dress shop it was actually really hard to tell the consultant what i was looking for so at first i just said let's narrow it down between ball gown and something like a mermaid but i also had three musts that i knew absolutely knew that i had to follow when i went dress shopping the first is that i had to have sleeves the second is that I didn't want any tool, and the third is that I did not want an illusion neckline. Now, like I said, you don't really know what you want until you try on dresses, so I really only followed one of those rules. So I had tried on different styles of dresses. I kind of narrowed it down to what I wanted. The first lacy one that I tried on was very boho and I liked it, but I didn't like how informal it was. I wanted something slightly more formal. So then I tried on a few more dresses and I really liked this beautiful ball gown with the slit in the front. I thought it was just like the perfect hint of sexiness, you know? But when I walked around in it, it was actually really heavy and I could not imagine trying to go to the restroom, you know? And I've seen the hacks, you know, the Ikea bag hack. It just, that just feels like a lot. And then there was another mermaid gown that was like so form-fitting and it showed off all my curves, you know? After losing weight, that's what I wanna do. Um, and so I was like, oh, this dress is so beautiful. But that's the next thing I learned. Just because you look amazing in a dress doesn't mean it's the perfect dress for your wedding day. So even though I tried it on, I was like, gosh, this makes me look so good. I feel so beautiful. I looked at myself in the mirror and, you know, this dress was just very formal. Like this would be a dress for like a country club type wedding with like pastel florals and a big bridal party. You know, that's how I envisioned that dress not for my boho eclectic, you know, kind of free spring wedding. So that helped me narrow it down, knowing what my overall vision for the wedding was. And I thought it looked pretty good in the big ball gown as well. I loved that slit in the front. But again, I didn't think it was very practical or that it fit my venue as well as the dress that I actually chose. So the dress that I ended up saying yes to and buying on the spot was I believe like the third or fourth dress that I tried on out of about 10 or 12. And as I was trying on these other dresses, I kept comparing them to that one dress. And it was just like hanging up on the wall behind me, like calling my name, Allie, I'm the one, try me back on again. So the reason I had hesitation with that dress is because it didn't follow one of my rules. My first rule was that I required sleeves. Why do I require sleeves? Well, because I've lost weight and you know, my arms aren't my favorite thing about my body. Even though I'm trying to get more confident with them, I'm trying to wear more, you know, strappy sleeveless tops so that I get used to, you know, living in my arms. And, you know, we asked if they could add on sleeves and because the way that the bodice was cut, they said that they couldn't really do that. So I didn't choose it at first, even though I loved it when I tried it on, it made me feel beautiful and it felt right. But that's the fifth thing that I learned is that when you go dress shopping and you're imagining your perfect day, you have to be confident and you cannot let 
a few bodily insecurities interfere with your dream vision that you have. It was my mom who kind of like encouraged me because I felt, I felt a little sad, honestly. I was like, this is my dream dress. I'm not supposed to show my arms. Will anybody think that they look bad? But when I put that dress on, it just looks so beautiful. And my mom said, Allie, you have to get this dress. Nobody's gonna care about your arms. And so that did it for me. I think she knew how much I loved it. So it's so important to just go into dress shopping, have supportive people with you, and don't let insecurities get in your way. Or preconceived notions of what you think you know you need to dress yourself like. I've heard brides say, oh, I can't wear white because I'm much older, or you know, I haven't waited till marriage. None of that matters. Arms don't matter. <laughs> wear what you want to wear for your wedding. But why was that one the dress? Well, I wish I could show it to you because I love it so much. It honestly had like touches of all of the things I was looking for. It's kind of form-fitting, so it does show off the body that I have worked hard for. You know, after all of my weight loss, you know, I just want to feel beautiful and confident. And what I really liked about it compared to other dresses is that it really had a lot of bridal touches. It wasn't just like a white prom dress or like a white pageant dress. It looks like a wedding dress, which is something I hadn't really considered before. I thought I just wanted to look glamorous and beautiful and, you know, alluring. <laughs> but I never thought about actually looking like a bride who is going to a wedding ceremony to commit herself, you know, to the person that she loves. And that, when I saw the dress on, was a really big factor in choosing that dress. I felt so beautiful in that dress. It had some sexy accents to it. It had the regalness from a longer train than I was expecting that I was gonna get. It had a lot of beautiful details while still being understated. So, you know, pulling in a little bit of that minimalist vibe without being too over the top or too glam or anything. And it fit my wedding vision. So when I imagined myself in that dress, you know, in our venue with all the flowers and, you know, people in front of me, that was the dress. Oh, I love it so much. So it had been sitting in the back of the changing room and I was like, I gotta try it on again. And when I did, they were still bringing in new dresses for me to try on and I was like, this is the one, let's go walk out into the main room and see. And so I stood on like the little, you know, circular podium thing. And I looked in the big mirror with the beautiful lighting. <laughs> and I actually started tearing up because I thought, oh, the man is just gonna love this one. I love this one, it's perfect. Like, I knew right then, like, I felt like a bride, I felt beautiful, and I felt really happy. So even though I told myself I was not going to try and buy a dress that day, that was the first time we went dress shopping at all, I actually found my dress. And so I'm just, I can't wait for it to get here. It's gonna take a few months, but I just, I wanna, I wanna have it and I wanna like get it fitted perfectly and Oh, I'm just so excited. Well, those are the five things that I learned while shopping for my own wedding dress. If you're planning your own wedding or looking for a wedding dress or a dress for any event, really, I hope I gave some helpful advice for when it comes to finding the perfect dress for your perfect day. And if you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in weight loss or ketogenic weight loss specifically, you should check out my other videos. Like I said, if it weren't for keto, I would not be planning my dream wedding right now with my dream man. But that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Allie. Have a good one. Bye.